Uh, today we are going to uh, show you how to replace the cooling fan and the extruder fan and also the uh, semester uh, on the extruder. All these three are on the extruder. And we have the quick coupling here. Uh, so it's easy to replace. Okay. Yeah, first you need to uh, unlock. First we change the cooling fan, okay? You need to unlock the cooling fan bolt. There are two uh, which lock it. Lock it. And then you turn to get it off it. And uh, then you plug it off from the socket. Then you put the new one. Uh, please pay attention. Now, uh, on this socket, this is red and the black cable. And on, on this fan, there is also red and black. Make sure they are matching. Red match red, black match black. If you, for vice versa, you are going to burn the fan. So, in correct screens, to match it, insert it, and then relock the fan onto the extruder. Uh, please handle with care. Uh, do not use too much strength uh, because it's too very thin wire. And re, uh, then you relock it by the Higgs wrench. Yeah. Okay, this way you are replacing the cooling fan and also the other fan. The so next, uh, we are going to replace the uh, extruder cooling fan. Uh, first, unlock the two bolts. And the bottom of the extruder. Okay, uh, you get the fin also off. Uh, please handle with care, do not miss any component. Then, uh, for the same thing, uh, you need to disassemble the cable of the 40 millimeter cooling fan. Uh, because the, uh, the filament cooling fan has twisted together with the cool, uh, extruder cooling fan, so uh, we do it. Uh, now you need to replace it. Uh, please make sure there are two cables, one red and one black. Make sure uh, you are inserting uh, the red into the red, black into the black, so they are exactly matching. This is very important, or you are burning your fan. Okay. Uh, because you must leave the enough space there, so it's better you mount the motor onto the extruder first. Then you put the fan and the, the fin onto the extruder. Then you bolt it on. Make sure they are matching and no, no wire was underneath. If it is there, uh, you need to get it out. 
and then you relock it. It's all clear. You lock it. Uh, the extruder cooling fan is supposed to running all the time because it's uh, connected to the uh, power supply unit directly. And the filament cooling fan is supposed to be controlled by the G code. So it's start uh, according to your requirement, uh, to your setting on the G code. You can set it after three layers or four layers, uh, it will start. It's all just up to you. OK, so you have already uh, replaced the cooling fan. OK, now we change the semester. Some of the, uh, the printer you may get the burn uh, semester, so you also need to replace it. This uh, is a little bit complex. Uh, first, unlock the semester uh, screw, which is on the side of the small aluminum block. Uh, do not do this. Uh, there is one um, foam, uh, foam like. This is uh, very important. Do not throw it away. You need to keep it. Okay. Then you get it off. Uh, for this uh, socket, you get the arrow. Uh, arrow side, make sure you are inserting into the correct side. So the match, if they fall the wrong way, it cannot invert. But if you push too hard, it will break the connector. So make sure the arrow side connected to this, this side. After you invert it, Then you need to insert the, the bubble into the hole of the small aluminum block. Then you put the